Well, 21 foot Palomino Hybrid here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Interesting floor plan and a good one. I've never seen something laid out quite like this, but I get it. It definitely uh, it hits all the uh, smart points here. All in all, pretty well kept. It is used, you know, so if you saw a, a pre-owned vehicle of this age, you'd expect a couple little minor things here and there but nothing structural i don't see any any significant problems i do see though where people were willing to spend some good money on this thing to keep it in good shape that is a positive indicator for instance we got a uh, max air vent cover up here we have a slide out awning cover to keep the uh, uh slide seals as you know protected from the worst part of the weather as they could good looking aluminum wheels down here i can see that the uh bed ends by and large uh the all your canvas material looks to be in pretty good shape this bed here has had a, a little spot of water penetration i'm going to show you that inside because i don't hide things from people uh, i like to represent our inventory fairly and honestly and uh you know hopefully you understand the integrity of that and if what i show you means this unit is disqualified from being parked in your driveway that's fine i get it that's why i point this stuff out just remember that we didn't give you the runaround we didn't lie to you we didn't hide stuff from you so just give us a chance if this isn't the right one for you give us a call we'll find another one now when i saw this from the out, uh, front I've seen things that sort of look like this. Uh, most of them are triple hybrids that have a third bed that pops out the back. And then I came around here and I went, holy cow, look at this thing. It's got a big giant storage garage on it. And that is super cool because the one thing you can never get enough of in any RV is storage. And there is no such thing as too much of it in a camper. So this is just a really ideal RV for those that are outside and those that go and do, not those that sit. And I think that's generally a good descriptor for anyone in a hybrid camper, but especially something like this. You don't want to pack up not just your folding chairs and stuff, but you know, you got your bag toss games and all the stuff for the kids outside. You can really load this sucker up. We do have an outside grilling station here on the side, directly under the middle of the uh, awning. And they, uh, they've taken a lot of cues uh, from uh, Rockwood over there when they were putting this together, I think, because I see a lot of similarities. This is sort of, I think, what I would call the working man's Rockwood. That makes a lot of sense. It does doesn't have all of the um, you know uh, like uh, crazy sizzle features of Rockwood but it also doesn't have the, uh, as much weight and it doesn't have as much cost they did add a nice folding entry handle here after market that is a super handy feature something that again I've never seen anyone ever complain about it's only a positive um, stepping inside by and large pretty darn clean couldn't ask for it to be in much better condition here um, the uh, uh, sofa here this can fold down into a little bed the dinette across from it can fold down a little extra storage in the slide overhead and once again never hurts um, the uh, TV stand is definitely an afterthought in this model again it's designed for people who are going to be outside not people who I mean you didn't buy a hybrid camper so you could sit in it and watch a game that doesn't make sense you know but they do have the hookups and everything for you over here this front bed is the one that uh, in question I mentioned where it looks like I don't know what happened here something dinged this door and um it's still pretty solid it's still load bearing it's still very functional but it's there and i'm not going to lie about it i am going to point it out um dining table this is freestanding so if you want to take this outside like your picnic table you're all set you don't necessarily have to bring along extra things and in a small camper like this with very limited storage potential anything that you can get that will uh, perform double duty is always beneficial Pretty good kitchen space over here as well. That it was actually pretty surprising. You know what I just noticed? Central air. This little 21-foot hybrid has central AC. That's pretty darn cool. Big, big cabinets down there with some good drawer space for your uh, utensils so you don't have to bring along a little utensil carrier. Now, normally you'd have almost no countertop space, but this has the, the sink cover as well as a folding stovetop cover. So you actually get a pretty functional countertop. Not too bad. Now you, I mean, you really couldn't hope for much more in this little trailer. Now over here is uh, a whole bunch of storage, which is hard to find. I've mentioned that a few times here, but it is really important, these trailers, including this big giant wardrobe. And all of this storage is what is lost when you swap out from that rear garage to a triple hybrid. And I think that's where this model is really unique is that it actually has pretty good storage capacity uh, for a hybrid with a slide. A lot of hybrids with slides just don't have good storage. Um, the uh, bathroom in here, pretty simple, but 
I mean, what more do you need? You just need it to be effective. It doesn't have to be fancy. I do like that big fifth wheel size skylight up here. Holy crap, that is huge. Um, plus, we have the uh, nicer Max Air uh, vent fan built into the ceiling over here. Now, um, this is a... Uh, fully laminated lightweight product it's all aluminum framed it's designed to keep the weight down in the structure up and at what is the weight sticker on this one here 4480 pounds i'd say they got that accomplished so suv towable family camper here with a nice slide so when it is rainy you actually have a nice living room to hang out in great camper give us a call 800-256-5196 halet rv of coldwater michigan take care stay safe happy camping everybody